Hello, it is May 25th, and I am one week and three days away from moving from Japan forever. start packing. Uh, I'm really gonna have to pack light because I'm basically taking with me everything that I'm gonna bring to college in like my suitcases and like what I'm bringing on the plane and then I'm only gonna ship a few boxes to my dad's house and I'm gonna take nothing else to my mom's house. So I mean I just gotta get rid of a lot of stuff, donate it, and of course pack it up. Huh, 69. I think my biggest fear is over there, up there, in that corner of my bookshelf. Those are my records. I don't know how to pack those. I don't know. And when I moved them here, I don't remember what I did. And like, I just checked and I can show you. Here they are. Only like one square full. And then a couple, what are those called? 45s, I think. Let's take this one for example. I was checking and they don't fit that way in the box and I don't think it's a good idea to put them this way so I think I need to buy a new box not gonna lie my records aren't super like rare and expensive because I mostly thrift all of them but they're still sentimental and I don't want all of them to be broken because then I would be heartbroken so we gotta figure that out okay I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I am moving to San Diego, which means I'm going to University of California, San Diego, go Tritons. Yeah. So that means like I don't need any sweaters or jackets, which hurts because I love sweaters and jackets so much. Definitely winter's my favorite season, but I have to pack those up. I'm not getting rid of them because they're my favorite pieces of clothing. So I'm sending them to my dad's house to sit indefinitely until I live somewhere where I have winter again. Yay. So I gotta pack up. My jacket switch. You can see my closet is like that, right? And like up to about about half of it is just jackets. So I think that's where we're gonna start. And then underneath my bed is where I keep all my sweaters, and they're pretty thick, so they're gonna take up a lot of space, I think. I love this one. It's so cute. Makes me look like a little New Englander. So cute. I love this one. Makes me look like a World War II fighter pilot in a cute way. And I also love this one because it makes me look like a New England fisherman. And I love this one because it makes me look like I'm a New Yorker. Are you a New Yorker even? Do you have a black puffy jacket even? I think I'm gonna sell this one because I never wear this. This one's hard because this is a vintage Patagonia jacket. I say vintage because it used to be my mom's in like the 90s. But it's a ski jacket. I don't ski. I'm never gonna ski in San Diego. But it's so cute. And like the inside is kind of falling apart. I don't know what that's called. The like seam. The seam interfacing? I don't know what you would call that. Can you even tell? Hold on. It looks like that on the inside, which is kind of sad. But it's Patagonia, you know? I think I'm gonna keep it. Ugh. It's just such a 90s ski jacket. It's so cute. Okay, we're keeping it. I feel like I wear this one all the time in my YouTube videos. I just always happen to be wearing it. This is a jacket, but I feel like I can still wear it in San Diego. So I'll pack that one in a suitcase. Same with, see this is a leather jacket and it's got this fun fringe. And like, even though it's leather, like, I feel like I can still wear it in San Diego. This one's difficult. 
because it's a rain jacket. But I already have a rain jacket that I know I'm gonna bring. I don't know. I think we're gonna bring it. Two rain jackets, is that too many? Probably. Now we're on the ones that were in the back of my door. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, a lot of people say that they have, like, clothing obsessions. Like, some people are obsessed with shoes. Some people just clothes in general. For me, it's jackets. Like, I love jackets. So I have more jackets than probably anything else. This one, I love this one. It makes me look like a little, little New Englander. It's so cute. I recently got this. I say recently, like, within the past year. Inside is, like, plaid. It's, like, made in England. I mean, this is just gonna go to my dad's house. Cause when am I gonna wear that in San Diego? Same thing with this jacket. It's Uniqlo, it's like a longer down jacket. I bought this one because in Japan, the thrift stores are seasonal. So in the winter, they sell winter clothes. And so I was like, I need to get a down jacket because I'm gonna be moving to like the Northeast probably. So I need to get like one for a really good bargain while they're still here. Well, I'm not moving to the Northeast, so I don't need to bring this, but it's a good jacket, so I'll keep it. This one, so cute. New Englander vibes all the way. Definitely keeping, and this is the one I was talking about. This is like my most utilitarian jacket. Just a North Face one. And it's one of the ones that you can clip in with the like inner North Face jacket. Wherever it is, I don't know. This one's coming to San Diego. Maybe I'll have friends who like to hike in the rain or something. Now this one I'm unsure about. It's like a corduroy jacket from The Gap, I think, yeah. With like this sh Sherpa. It's like kind of light, but kind of maybe it's too heavy. I don't know. Like what if I go to Seattle for the weekend? Because my friend is going to Washington, UW. And it's like, this is the perfect Seattle jacket. Like, like, oh yes, I'm a local. <sighs> I feel like it's too heavy for San Diego. Mm, we're gonna put it in that pile. Okay, we're doing good. That's only four jackets for San Diego so far. And now we're gonna go over here to this chair that has turned into a place, unfortunately, where I just throw things. We'll tackle that, because it looks like mostly knits and jackets. Oh, Kermit is like, smushed. Ah uh, yes, Taylor Swift cardigan, obviously, staple. That's coming. And then we have another denim jacket, but I think I should bring this one. It's not oversized like the other one, and it's a darker wash. Like, it would go with this outfit, actually. I think I wear this all the time. I think we have an American idiot pin in here, yep. Uh-huh. I'm so edgy. And that's, oh wait, nope, there's one more. And then we have these, more of like vintage styles. This one is so darn cute. Oh, I never wear it though. I think I don't wear it because it's never the right weather, but I think San Diego would be the right weather for this. So let's go in. Oh, this one I love. It's total like Jackie O, but also a little bit Hillary Clinton. It's so cute, it's like, I have to think about it. Really funny story. I thought we had more boxes. We don't. This is the only box. I only have this one box. So, that's all for today. There we go. All nicely packed. I actually, you know, I'm proud of myself because I was able to cut down on some of these jackets. I just, it, I love this jacket, but. I don't need to bring it, I don't. And this one is so similar to the navy one, but it's tweed, but I don't need it. Yeah, I cut down on those. I actually had room to put in two sweaters, so I just stuck two of my favorite ones on top. Um, that's what I'm talking about. This whole bin under here, it's like one of those long ones, has sweaters in it, and yes. Most of them are Christmas themed. And now I just have to close this one up. And then that's my singular box.
You know, I swear, I wear this t-shirt in like every video. Anyway, it's the next day and I have some developments. So for the stuff that I'm like shipping and I'm not going to have in San Diego, we're trying to work it out with the moving company. Like they might need specific boxes or something. I don't really understand. They have to like get back to us. But I'm going to take a break on that and focus on what I'm bringing to San Diego slash airplane slash all that stuff. So I'm going to try to fit everything into two suitcases. One that is massive. Here we are. I'm standing up straight and it's like my hip right there. That and like a more medium sized suitcase. If that's not enough, which I hope it is enough, then I'll have like a carry on suitcase. But that's it. And actually looking at the state of my floor right now, it's insane. And I don't think there's enough room for me to even open this suitcase. So I might put this in the guest bedroom, which means I'm going to be running up and down the stairs, but I mean, that's what you got to do. This is what... Brace yourselves. Um, there's our jacket pile from yesterday that didn't make it into that box that says Echo's jackets. Um, desk is not too bad. You can see I got rid of a lot of my textbooks. Well, I brought them back to school. Yeah, we've got... Oh, I started on this suitcase yesterday, which is, like, the clothes I'm going to be wearing for, like, the next week and a half. Um, yeah, we just have, like... What's that? A happy birthday thing. Some clothes. I put some jackets back in there in the closet, you can see. Yeah, it's just... There's not enough space. Like, you can see how much space that takes up. I actually did something really handy last night that I've never done before. I like made a Google Doc with like each bag that I'm bringing and what's going to be in each of those things. So I think that's going to help me pack this giant suitcase because I already have a list of what's going to go in here. Because although it's like massive, I can't like put too much stuff in there. It's going to be heavy. So it has to be like bigger things that are lighter. Like I know that my hiking backpack is going to go in there because it's super light, but it's really big. Oop. Here are some dresses. You know, I can proudly say that most of my dresses are thrifted. This one's thrifted. And then down here is where the giant suitcase pile is. This is actually going by surprisingly quickly. These were like the different material that should be like folded and these I like rolled because I think that takes less space. And then on this side, I already went ahead and put most of my shoes. So under there we've got some cowboy boots, two pairs. I know that's a little bit overkill, but I stuck this on here, but I'm going to fit more stuff under. So yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Hello, I'm back. My angles in this video are crazy, I know. I've come back with the bags that I'm going to put in in this uh, suitcase. Or you could say that I'm bag... Yeah. I actually wanted to show this off. Really cute little crochet bag. I literally made this this morning slash last night because I'm not going to like bring balls of yarn with me. That's just a waste of space. So I was like, you know, maybe I'll make a cute little bag. I like how kind of small it is. It's like, eh, kind of like a purse. Kind of cute. I think I might give it to one of my friends. And I'm going to show this other crochet bag that I made. This is for moi. But I think I made this in like a previous video that I never posted because I never edited it. But... It's a fun bag. And the inside is like a bandana, which I think I did like a okay-ish job on. It's really, it's really shoddy because like I hand sewed it and I can't really hand sew, but I did it anyway. So I'm really only going to keep two bags outside of my suitcase, which is my mini version of this bag. My mini kankin. And my backpack that I use for school, which will be one of my carry-ons. Also got this essential. Can you, can you guess what this is? Hmm. Take one guess, ladies and gentlemen. And your time is up. Did you guess ankle brace? Because if so, you're correct. Yay! Yeah, put that in with the shoes. 
case I sprain my ankle, which is a very, there's a high, there's a high probability of that happening at any moment. I did have to rearrange my dresses and other stuff because I needed to fit more stuff, so I rolled even more of them. And I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm doing good with like not bringing too much stuff because I'm just like, do I need it? No. You, you may think it's a lot of stuff. I don't. Personally, like, I brought a lot of dresses because I feel like those are rare. Those are special. Like, it's difficult to find a good dress. But, like, t-shirts? I'm not bringing many t-shirts. I'm not bringing many jeans. I'm not bringing many shorts or skirts. Because none of them that I have are just, like, so unique that I have to bring them across the world. But, like, a bag like this, this is priceless. I mean, obviously, unless someone wanted to give me, like, half a million dollars, of course I would give it to them. But, you know what I mean. I think that we're done with this half of the suitcase. Okay, so I had this box that was there and I've taken it out to sort through my, I guess, sentimental items because I can't bring like everything, but you know, I've got this nice pile that's gonna go be shipped because I don't need to bring it in my suitcase. And then this very small refined pile over here and then I'm ch okay, I'm trying my best to like stay to a minimum of the things I'm gonna bring, but this is so extra and unnecessary, but like a few months ago, I saw this picture frame at a thrift store and look, it's 200 yen. It's like $2. And it's like this like hand-painted clay frame. I saw it and I was like, this has to go in my dorm room. It's, it's such a waste of space to bring, but I need it. I have to bring it. Something that I already knew, but that is becoming more apparent to me, is that I am a serial tin collector. If anything comes in a tin, I'm going to keep it. I was keeping all my stickers and pins in here. And then over here I had this empty tin, I think chocolate came in it. And I was going to use it for something one day, but I never did. And all of that made me realize that there's only one tin that I love so much and that I'm going to bring, obviously. And it is this very special tin. Look at that. Can you read what it says? Prince Henry of Wales and Miss Meghan Markle. I mean, how many people have a royal wedding cookie tin? Not very many, but I do. And yes, this is 100% a necessity. I have to bring this. Speaking of graduation, it is Wednesday, so it's Thursday, Friday. So three days until graduation. Yay! Yeah, that's the only dress that I didn't pack up is my graduation dress, which, oh, sneak peek. Oh, sneak peek alert. It's that white one with the flowers. Oh, so cute. And there's my gown. And my hat is in my bookshelf. Can you spot the hat? Can you spot the hat? Hey guys, um, here is an absolutely hilarious story, so I'm an idiot, I, I did not even think to check my passport to see if it was expired, it is, so luckily I was able to get in touch with the embassy and I have an appointment for Tuesday. I leave on Thursday. So that's pretty tight. As not like tight, but like tight time-wise. I'm laughing now, but I was freaking out earlier. Um, I don't know, just it literally never occurred to me to be like, is my passport like valid? It's not. It expired like in May, and it is May, but I'm leaving June, so, so yeah, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna be going to the embassy on Tuesday. I've never been to the embassy, ever. I just imagine it's gonna be like the DMV, but nicer. Just smile through the pain, just smile through the pain. Good news is though, I'm making a lot of progress with packing. Yay! And graduation is now two days away. 
Which update, if you want to update, the date today is the 27th. And Berkeley is supposed to let me know by June 1st if they want me off the wait list. It is extremely tight. Um, I'm losing hope more and more every day. And maybe becoming a little bit bitter towards them. It's fine, go Tritons. Unfortunately, the whole passport thing did set me back a little bit on time. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I don't know if I've been saying that we're leaving on Thursday this whole time, but we're actually leaving on Friday. I don't know, I'm too tired. I did get my passport renewed today. I got like an emergency one year passport. D tomorrow, the people, I don't know who they are, but they, they're gonna come and pick up our bags so that we can ride the Shinkansen to the Tokyo airport so that we don't have to bring all our bags with us and our bags are going to be at the airport. That was a lot of words to probably make no sense. So yeah, you can see behind me, I closed that one before I left for the passport stuff. But the second one, I was able to fit a lot of stuff. I'm very impressed with myself. Unfortunately though, Kermit, which was a goal to fit in here, did not fit. Neither did my sunglasses. But that's fine. I can find a place for them tomorrow. Oh! My calculator! I think I can fit this one second. In between 